how to trick the trends and look modern without shopping all the new stuff. You know I make anti-haul videos where I'll tell you which trends I won't invest in because they aren't long-lived enough. But what about the trends that you should invest in? The outfits that are always super hot and will easily transition into well-loved, well-worn, timeless investment pieces in your wardrobe. Now, to judge whether a piece will become a timeless classic in your wardrobe, instead of one of those spur-the-moment purchases you get bored with already the third time you wear it, there are four different criteria we can look at, four different questions to ask yourself before ever opening your wallet. One, is this a long-lived trend? Two, is it easy to style with the other items you already own? Three, is it practical and comfortable? And finally, is it sustainable? If you want a more thorough explanation of these four criteria, do check out my previous Timeless Trends video, link in the description. By the way, if you want more anti-hauls and videos on trends that are worth investing in each season, do let me know by giving me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Okay, now let's look at some of the most timeless outfits and statement pieces that we can safely invest in, no matter what the season's trends are. First up is a look that's a recent obsession of mine, the 60s vibe black and beige trench coat look. Think black cigarette trousers, black turtleneck, black ray-bans, black ballerinas or loafers or pumps, and a classic beige trench coat. So simple, so timeless, and so movie star glamorous. And seriously, does it get easier than styling this look? You really can't go wrong. Easier to dress it down with flats and messy hair, or dress it up with a chignon and red lips and pumps. Too bad smoking will kill ya, because this look, I'd say, is about 10% cooler with a cigarette between your lips. Ah well, fashion is fun and all, but it's not worth dying over, let's face it. Long live trend, easy to style, practical and comfortable, and sustainable if you go with a vintage trench coat. Check, 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 check. This look has been timelessness approved. The 90s yuppie bossy lady trend will never go out of style for three reasons. It's comfortable as hell, the pieces are basics in solid neutral colors like black, beige, navy, gray, and so on, and the exaggerated shapes with a Big shoulders, the oversized blazers and trousers paired with tiny mini dresses means it will always look modern year after year after year, because it is kind of a bold silhouette without being season specific. So investing in oversized suits, big ass blazers and off-the-shoulder black mini dresses are all safe bets. All these styles look great with both flats, like loafers or boots, or with heels. It's both an extremely sexy look and a powerful, impressive one at once. Again, super easy to style, so comfortable, and the vintage shops are full of these shapes. So a long-lived trend, it's safe to invest in. Bonus points for extremely curly hair and big men's hats. A big thank you to Vivaya for sponsoring me today. Vivaya's mission is to create stylish and sustainable footwear that is eco-friendly and responsible. And the coolest thing is that each pair is made out of six discarded plastic bottles and the packaging is made with 90% recycled cardboard. And don't worry about getting your Vivaya's dirty because listen to this, the styles are either hand or machine washable. That's the type of innovation we need right now. I've been using the booties, zebra ballerinas and loafers I already got from Vivaya a couple of months ago and they're incredibly comfortable, so soft and easy to style. Now, since summer is finally here, the Vivaya guys generously sent me a couple of summer favorites. For example, these gorgeous mules, you know I've been eyeing them ever since they showed up on the site. These will for sure become my go-to slip-on summer lovelies and how gorgeous when worn with white. Casual yet chic. I also got the classic ballerinas in black with a slightly pointed toe. Recently, I've been going through such a 60s classic trench coat phase with crop trousers and oversized sunnies, and these ballerinas are like made for this look. Ballerinas are such wardrobe essentials considering how stylable and comfortable they are. Am I right? Finally, my new slider is in brown. I'm not sure I will walk on that many beaches this year, but if I do, these sandals will be my go-to beach companions. But I'm also thinking them with linen trousers, with maxi skirts, or, dare I say it, worn with socks. Anyway, which is your fave? Sliders, mules, or ballerinas? Which one wants you fancy? I'll leave links below to each of them, so go take a look. And why not invest in eco-friendly, sustainable, vegan shoes this summer? Just click the link below and check out all Vivaya's gorgeous footwear. They have free worldwide shipping on everything on their site, so go on, take a look. Thank you so much to Vivaya, and let's get back to the video. Lately, the tutu skirts have been showing up everywhere on the runways and on Instagram. Now, I know what you're thinking, what a short-lived trend, how can this be an investment? But 
Should we? Well, the tutu's are big and crazy and might not be the most wearable item ever. However, if you're really into this trend, you might very well be a ballerina off duty. The ballerina on her way to practice is a timeless trend that oozes grace, elegance and delicate luxury. Think leggings, flats, skin tight, long sleeve tops without a bra, super tight hair knots and a silky, loose fitting cardigan. Relaxed, comfortable and effortless in neutral solid colours. To make this modern, go for leggings that are long enough to rouge down by your ankles or stirrup leggings. Simple ballerina flats are great or style with chunky boots and a bomber jacket or menswear coat to balance out the sweetness. Now let's focus on the face for a while and arguably the most timeless accessory ever, the oversized sunnies. The bigger and blacker, the better. I am myself partial to Prada's classic shapes. I think that they stay both modern and timeless year after year. I mean, how many times have you seen me wear my aubergine Prada's over on Insta, for example? I never get tired of them. And every bloody time I'm dressed up on my way out the door asking David which sunnies goes best with the outfit I'm wearing, whatever the outfit is, he always says Prada. What can I say? The boy is on rock. Right now, huge smoky aviator glasses a la 70s are trending and they are a safe bet too. And of course, the most timeless, easy to style classic out there, the Ray-Ban Wayfarer. Looking modern and staying on trend since 1952. Can you believe it? I have no idea why I don't own a pair myself yet, but they are at the very top of my investment shopping list. Vintage, of course. Seriously, when it comes to sunglasses, there is no reason not to go pre-owned. The sustainability, of course, but also the money you'll save. My products that I've worn like 300 times by now, pre-owned, 30 pounds, ka -ching. Now, if you don't wanna go for a specific look, you don't want your outfit to scream ballerina or the 60s or a 90s yuppie babe, then let's go to the most classic look of the day. A look so all prevailing, I don't even know when or where it originated. The impressive black and white shirt combo look. The beauty of this look is that it will always look crisp and current and like you've made an effort. You will ace every job interview, any first date, every business meeting ever in this outfit. Secondly, it's infinitely variationable. Basically, it's a white collar with a black top. It can be a black mini dress with a clip-on collar, it could be a boyfriend shirt with a vest, a simple blouse with a basic black top, any combo you can think of that has a black high neck top with a white collar peeping out. Investing in a few different colors from bibs to Peter Pan to ruffles to be styled and restyled with black dresses, waistcoats, sweatshirts, camisoles even. Dress it up with a mini skirt or down with a pair of ink blue jeans. You cannot go wrong. This look is very easily made into an endlessly mix and matchable office uniform for all of you who never again want to scream, I have nothing to wear in front of the mirror in the morning ever again. This look meets all the criteria besides one to think about. White collars easily get dirty. To not having to buy new white shirts all the bloody time, let's take it off when eating or at least cover it with a napkin. Or you can always stick to white rice and cauliflower. What is the one trend out of these that you feel most fits your style? Usually I would say the 90s yuppie is my personal favorite, but at the moment I'm going crazy for the trench coat black turtleneck look ever since I saw it in the Swedish movie Monica said, I cannot stop drooling over the 60s. What do you think? If you want more anti-haul videos or videos on trends that are worth investing in, do let me know by giving me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching today you guys and Seriously, for being such lovely people, I have the best subscribers, seriously. Anyway, until next time, puss puss and hey do! Okay, this is what gets me. I sometimes have problems. Did you say begets you? No, it gets me. Okay. Beget. <laughs> it it Baguette. Somebody touch my baguette. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> anyway, if, I wish I would have used the word baguette, it would be very nice. Yeah.